Hi there, I'm Jamie from Trail Engineering and today I'm going to show you a video walk around of our brand new 2400 litre vacuum tank. So this vacuum tank is based on a vacuum tank that we've done on a previous video on our, our YouTube channel. Um, we've changed it slightly because it's for a different industry. So instead of having a twin tank, it's one whole vacuum tank. Uh, the tank is a galvanised steel uh, tank that's then been painted to the customer's colours. Um, with the vacuum tank it has two baffles inside, so it's got anti-surge and also it's got all the safety features you'd expect on a vacuum tanker. So safety features will be a primary overfill at the top followed by a secondary overfill down, lower down, just to keep that ta uh, tank and the pump nice and safe. On the top, we've also got a pressure clock. The pressure clock will tell you whether the tank's under pressure or it's under vacuum. And then just by the pressure clock, there's also a vacuum relief valve. Um, moving around the job, there's also a pressure relief valve on the vacuum pump. So the customer wanted all petrol engines. So we've gone with the Hondas. Um, so here on the back, there is a Honda GX270 that's driving a MEC 2000 vacuum pump via twin bouts. And all the bouts are secured nicely inside the bout guard. So the petrol engine is the electric start and it's got its own 12 volt starter battery secured in its own battery box. Um, to start it up, normal running procedures, just make sure the, uh, the throttle's on the hair, the fuel is on and the choke is on, and then a just simple flick of the switch and it will come on. Don't forget to turn off the choke when it's up to temperature and then you're, you're away. So to fill and empty the tank, there is an inlet and an outlet at the base of the tank. Um, it's a three inch uh, system. So you've got three inch ball valve to isolate either inlet or outlet. There's a URT coupling to connect the Tiger Tail suction hose to the required operation. So if you're to empty the tank, it's the lower down um, flange. Just simply open up your ball valve and then it should gravity feed. But with the incline towards the end of the tank, it might need a little bit of pressurization just to help push the waste out. Moving on to the top, for filling, close up your outlet, open up your inlet, and then there's a swan neck design where on the other side of the tank, there's a pipe going upwards and a swan neck design so that you're always filling from the top of the tank. Um, also on the tank, there is a sight glass. Sight glass is a two inch ball valve, uh, just to isolate it if you ever need to uh, replace the hose while the tank's full. So this customer asked specifically for 60 meters of tiger tail hose. So each length of tiger tail will come in 50 meter pack. Um, so to join them together, we fitted cam locks so nice and easy, quick release, take the cam lock off, fit your next hose on to extend the hose and then put the cam lock back onto the suction wand and secure it. To keep the hose nice and tidy we fitted two hose holders on either side. Um, they'll hold 30 metres on each side. There's a two inch suction wand, which is nice and secured in its own lance holder. All running on a twin axle, highway tow, three and a half ton trailer. Moving around to the front of the job, there is a, another Honda engine. Uh, this one is a 3000 psi pressure washer with its own water source tank of 200 litres. The water tank is a baffle tank with a vent in the top and there's a simple 
ball valve here to isolate the tank from the pressure washer. So to run the pressure washer, just open that ball valve up, the water will flow into the pressure washer, and then you've also got a choice for a chemical pickup pipe. So if you want to wash down with detergent or any other chemical like that, just simply put that chemical pipe into your bucket. And then there's also a back to tank feature on this pressure washer, which any unused water from the pressure washer will simply pump back into the tank. So the pressure washer has a 30 meter uh, pre high pressure hose fitted to it, um, all contained on a nice hand rewind hose reel with a single lance, which is secured in its dedicated lance holder. With the pressure washer, like I said, it's a, another Honda petrol engine, 3000 PSI. Um, however, this one's a hand recall start instead of the electric option. Um, the starting procedure is nice and easy. Just simply turn the on off switch onto on. Make sure your throttle's on the hair, your chokes on and your fuel's on, and then just simply pull the recoil until it starts and don't forget to turn the choke off when it's up to temperature. And that's about it for the walk around of this brand new 2,400 litre vacuum tank with a 3,000 psi pressure washer. Don't forget to watch our other YouTube videos on our YouTube channel at Trail Engineering. And for more information, visit our website www.trailerengineering.co.uk. Thanks for watching.